World's Antimicrobial Awareness Week is taking place this week and it's a worldwide campaign to raise awareness of antimicrobial resistance and also to encourage everyone to play their part and use antibiotics wisely. Antibiotics are um, a kind of special type of antimicrobial medicine and they're used to treat infections that are caused by bacteria. Um, so they can be used for a wide range of infections like chest infections, urinary tract infections um, and they can also be used for some very serious infections um, like sepsis and meningococcal meningitis. Um, so they're really important medicines. They're effective against um, bacteria um, but they're not effective against viral infections um, so they won't help with infections like um, colds and flu and also COVID-19. If we overuse um, antibiotics or use them inappropriately then there's a real risk that we're going to increase the emergence and spread of antibiotic resistance. Antibiotic resistance is when bacteria adapt and change over time um, so that they no longer respond to the antibiotics that we'd usually use to treat them. Antibiotic resistance um, makes infections much more difficult to treat um, and as um, antimicrobial resistance um, increases, um, then there's a real kind of um, risk that we'll kind of struggle to treat even simple infections. Um, also, um, lots of treatments like cancer chemotherapy treatment and surgical procedures like um, joint replacements and heart transplants all rely on effective antibiotics um, to be available um, and if they're not then these, these treatments can become increasingly dangerous as well. So it's really important that we look after the antibiotics we have. There's lots of things that um, we can all do to try and preserve the effectiveness of our, our antibiotics. One of these is just being aware that antibiotics aren't going to help for viral infections like colds, flu, COVID-19 and also um, in most cases they're not required to treat conditions like sore throat and ear infection as well. If you do need um, any advice in treatment of infection you can speak to your pharmacist or your doctor. Also, if you're prescribed antibiotics, then it's really important that you take them as directed and that you finish the whole course, even if you start to feel better. It's also important not to share antibiotics with, with anyone else and not to keep them um, to use at another time. We can also help stop the spread of infection in the first place by doing simple things like regularly washing our hands and also making sure our vaccinations are up to date. And these things all help. Um, reduce the spread of antibiotic resistance. Some of the key things we're promoting um, are first of all um, making sure we only prescribe antibiotics when they're really needed. When antibiotics are prescribed, um, also using our antimicrobial guidelines which give really good information and advice on um, the most appropriate choice, dose and also duration of antibiotic to use depending on the type of infection being treated and also the patient's needs as well. We're also um, making sure we review antibiotics regularly once they've been started and tailoring um, the antibiotic treatment to the individual patient and also any microbiology culture results um, that come back. We're also making sure that intravenous antibiotics are switched to the oral route when appropriate and making sure that antibiotics are stopped when they're no longer needed. Um, so there's lots of good work that's been done by the antimicrobial and clinical teams within the Golden Jubilee to improve our use of antibiotics and make sure we're treating infections in the best way. Antimicrobial resistance is a huge global threat but there are lots of things that we can all do and we can play our part to make sure that we are using antibiotics wisely and preserving these precious medicines for future generations.